Hey, good morning YouTube. I'm the Tech Prepper. I think we have a fun video uh, based on metrics I'm seeing. People seem to like the EDC videos, so I'm going to do a deep dive on my everyday carry flashlights. And I'm going to go over two brands. Uh, one is a company called Olight and the other one is Streamlight. And these are my preferred brands based on my experience. And what's funny, as I was preparing this video, I pulled out all the flashlights that I have on my person, in my bags, in my wife's bags, and I put them out all on my desk here. And I had to go back out and I was in the dark and I kept reaching for my flashlight. So that should tell you how often I carry these and use these as a tool. And I guess the topic of tool is important. These are very expensive uh, flashlights. And like anything, um, I like to invest in my tools. Uh, in the past, um, I bought cheaper tools and you know they don't hold up um, over time. So I will caution everybody, this is not a $10, $20, or even $30 flashlight video. Um, these will all be probably in the $60 to $70 range of flashlights. Um, so yeah, let's start with my first person, my, my first preference in terms of personal carry EDC, EDC flashlights, and it's the SR1 Baton 2. And the reason why I like this flashlight is is the weight, the size, and it has um, a cool feature um, that allows me to cycle through the different uh, lumens. So it has uh, a five lumen setting, and this setting in particular is fantastic because it allows me to uh, move around in the morning without waking up my wife. And um, I also use it for reading uh, in the RV, for example, again, not to disturb her. And this is a very efficient power setting and gives you a little bit of light to fumble around in the dark. Um, and then it has, I think it's maybe a hundred lumens. I'll probably butcher the actual intensities. Um, so we'll call it a hundred lumens. It has about 300 and then a thousand. So this is very um, high intensity flashlight for the package you get. And then it has a feature that I like for personal security, um, or at least as a deterrent and it is a strobe light feature. I'll see if I can do it on camera, but basically it's a double click. And if you go ahead and point this at yourself, which I've tried and I don't recommend it, you'll see spots for about 15 minutes. Um, so really cool capabilities for a package this size. Uh, the other feature I like about it is the way they've done the, uh, the double clip. So, um, it does ride nicely in my jean pocket, or pant pocket, and this is typically how I like to carry it. But the other feature that is really amazing is the, the clip for a hat. So I stopped carrying uh, headlamps in my bags, and now I use this um, as my primary uh, headlight. Uh, the other compelling feature, given the cost, is the total cost of ownership over time. So when you buy this flashlight from Olight, it comes with a, a magnetic or mag-mounted uh, USB charger. So anywhere you have a USB outlet, you can recharge the battery and they include a rechargeable CR123 battery. So um, really the, the investment over time is what makes this um, really valuable to me. It also comes with this really nice carrying case for additional batteries. Um, I'm just using a couple of standard uh, lithium CR123 batteries, and this also goes in my bag. At some point, I may invest in a couple of other rechargeable batteries, but I've been using this flashlight for about a year and a half and haven't had any issues. Um, my wife is also now a recent convert, so she insisted I get her one. Um, she wanted the one that has the cool paint job here. Uh, for me, it really doesn't matter. Um, she's not using it as much, but she was always asking to borrow mine, uh, which is interesting. Um, in fact, uh, we just moved to the San Clemente area and we're in walking distance to uh, restaurants and stores and we would frequently go out and it would be dark at night and we would actually use this to spotlight our way as we were walking. So again, uh, it also has some security applications as well. What else am I missing here? 
Oh, yeah. The one thing I don't like about this, and I actually am starting to get used to it, is that it doesn't have a uh, end cap to enable the flashlight settings. Um, it's on the front. Uh, now that this is my everyday carry, it's a moot point. And I see why they've done it that way. You can't have an end cap and also have the magnetic uh, charging at the, at the back of it. And I probably should mention too that if you have a magnetic surface like in a uh, workshop, you can actually uh, mag mount it and then have hands-free operation. The next flashlight that I've carried for a while, in fact, this was what got me into the high intensity flashlight market, uh, are the Streamlight series of flashlights. And this is the ProTac 2LX. Um, I actually used the previous generation, which was the ProTac 2L. It was a little bit thinner, uh, not as rugged, uh, but it works just fine. I can't figure out where I have that flashlight. I may have gifted it to somebody. Um, I like this one because it's, for me, it's more of a security uh, device than anything else, given its construction and the size. So I have about medium-sized hands, and I can actually use this as an impact uh, tool now. Um, it's got a little bit of a granulated bezel here, not much compared to other uh, flashlights, but it's enough. It'll probably break bone pretty easily. And uh, the only thing I can tell you, and it doesn't bother me, these flashlights, for whatever reason, have a real problem with the wear. Uh, so you can see I have a lot of use out of this guy, but almost all models have the same exact issue with with the wear in the same positions. And the way I carry this flashlight is identical to the way I carry the Olight. I carry it in my pocket. In fact, I carry both flashlights when I leave the house together. When I'm in the house, I just carry the small one. And the reason for it is I like the smaller SR1 Baton 2. Uh, for day-to-day -day use, I like the battery life, I like the weight, I like the the settings and the way they work. This one for me, like again, is more of a defensive tool. So I put it on the, the inner side here. So for me, it's easier to grab and have access to it. And I do prefer the end cap on the end uh, for uh, turning on the flashlight and cycling through the settings. Um, and this one also has a um, high intensity output. It is a thousand lumens, just like that little guy. Um, and it does have the strobe feature. Oh, come on. All right, so it's been a while uh, since I have uh, used this flashlight, so my muscle memory has gone out the door, uh, but it does have the same strobe feature. And in fact, for me, it was easier to operate this strobe feature than this guy. Um, this flashlight, in terms of cells, uses the same cell technology as the SR1 Baton 2. The Streamlight ProTac 2LX takes a uh, 18650 cell. It's basically two two of these CR123s connected like this in series. So I can also run this flashlight with two CR123 lithium batteries. Um, and for me as a prepper, I like items where I can interchange um, parts. Now, this cell is an older 18650. I think I've had this flashlight maybe for a little over two years, and it required an external battery dock that was separately purchased. Um, they've moved away from that, and they've moved over to another 18650 cell, but I, what I like about this one is that they give you a charging cable and they include a micro USB piece on the end. So for my everyday carry flashlights, I never have to worry about batteries going dead. I carry the chargers in a little pouch on my everyday carry. And then I always have a small power brick. I think this is like a 3,500 milliamp hour power brick. And it's enough for me to top off both batteries. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything. I think that's pretty much it on the flashlights. Again, there are more details on these. There are lots of great YouTube videos uh, that go into all the specs. Uh, but for me, this is my personal preference in terms of everyday carry flashlights. I will have links in uh, the descriptions. Oh, actually, I would be remiss if I didn't cover this flashlight. Uh, let's take a step back. So this is the Streamlight uh, ProTac 1LAA, and this is a multi-cell uh, flashlight. 
and I'll tell you that it's not my favorite because the battery life on this one for some reason is not as good as the larger 2LX and my Olight. But what I do like about this one is that it will run off a CR123, my standard, but it'll also run off a AA battery, um, which is amazing. And even though the manufacturer does not tell you this, it does work with a AAA battery as well. Um, so for me, this is a tri-cell battery or tri-cell flashlight, and that's why I actually purchased it. Um, the reason why I don't carry it so much anymore is I've noticed that the battery life, based on how I use flashlights, which is every day, multiple times a day, um, probably upwards of a dozen to a couple dozen times a day, uh, this battery for whatever reason or flashlight, whether it's the AA, AAA, or the CR123, doesn't last me more than two weeks. Um, and that's not a problem if you have rechargeable batteries, but I don't want this one going dead on me. Um, for whatever reason, I've never seen how long this one will run, but I've gone a month without charging it and it's been fine at full intensity. And then the larger Streamlight uh, Protac 2L runs me about three and a half weeks to four weeks with my normal uh, usage. But, you know, interesting idea, a little bit cheaper flashlight, good size, uh, solid construction, um, and also some light tactical operations. And I can't remember if I mentioned it because th this is the second take that I've done. I chopped off my head in the first video. Um, these are also great security tools. And this is something that's allowed by TSA to go through security. So when I can't carry a pocket knife, I bring a flashlight. So I absolutely travel with this guy. Uh, where's my other one? Who knows? I'll take my wife's here. Um, and my Olight. So really great defensive or deterrent mechanisms here. At any rate, um, I want to thank everybody for watching. We're almost at 400 views. We'll cross that probably this morning. And uh, yeah, be strong, be safe, and think about investing in an everyday carry flashlight. They are expensive, but it is a tool. It is probably a lifetime tool if you take good care of them. So be strong, be safe, invest in your flashlights. Thanks, guys.